Hey football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we're diving into a heated debate between two football legends, Gary Lineker and Gary Neville. It all started when Neville called Chelsea blue billion pound bottle jobs after their loss to Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. But Lineker has something to say about that, Lineker didn't hold back, expressing his disagreement with Neville's harsh comments. He believed that Chelsea had a real chance to win the game and pointed out a brilliant save from Liverpool's goalkeeper that denied Chelsea a goal. Lineker thought Neville's words were a bit too strong. And he's not alone in defending Chelsea. Ally McCoist also came to their aid, stating that calling them bottle jobs was unfair. McCoist acknowledged that the game could have gone either way, with disallowed goals and a flick of the coin moment. He believes that Chelsea and their manager, Mauricio Pochettino, deserve some criticism but not to be labelled as bottle jobs. Now, let's take a closer look at the context. Chelsea has spent over £1 billion in transfer since Todd Burley took over from Roman Abramovich. However, their performances and results have regressed, and they currently sit 11th in the Premier League. So, the pressure is on for Pochettino to deliver some silverware. Pochettino himself responded to Neville's comments, stating that he didn't hear them directly but believes that comparing the two teams is not fair. He emphasized that Chelsea is a young team, just like Liverpool, and that the dynamics are completely different. Pochettino feels proud of his players' efforts and doesn't think Neville's opinion is justified. So, there you have it, folks. It's a clash of opinions between Lineker, McCoist, and Neville regarding Chelsea's performance and the bottle job label. What do you think? Was Neville too harsh, or did he hit the nail on the head? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time at Football News Center.